I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I'm going in Welcome you to go. I am super excited to have you here today because I'm going to teach you something that is actually quite quick and simple, but it's like a really nice way to transition either from floor to top or to get like into a choreography to get this little bit of like a wow factor going. Without further ado, I would say let's get started. What you want to have for this one is to be like a little bit comfortable in your shoulder mount. Um, you don't have to like completely get it, right? But you want to be a little bit comfortable also with the, the pole in your bag. <laughs> but I will show you what it looks like now. I am thirsty. A job of water. As always, you want to get a warm up in so you can check out any of my videos. I've got like a ton. And when you are ready, we can start on the pole. So, this is um, like an entry into like a shoulder mount variation, right? So, we're not gonna go completely in our shoulder mount, but we're basically just like letting ourselves flip. And flips are so fun, aren't they? They're like a little bit scary, but, <laughs> but they're really, really pretty. Okay, so let's get into it. Choose one side for now, but obviously you want to practice both sides. <laughs> what we're going to start with is you want to be positioned next to your pole. So your knees are in line with your pole. Okay, and from here, your inside leg is going to stay because you need a little bit of momentum to bring yourself over and the outside leg is going to come up. So from here, you can also go into your hips, just like this slight bit. Okay, from here, your inside hand or arm and body is you're going to bring it in front of your pole and then with the cup grip, grip the pole. I'm going to turn it around so you can see what I mean. Knees are in line with your pole. Your outside leg is going to step and as you do that, you bring your hand around cup grip as if, you know, you want to go into your shoulder mount right here which we're gonna do. <laughs> and then your outside hand is also gonna come on top, grab, and then bringing your elbows together. Beautiful. So what you want to look out for is that the pole is at the fleshy part um, of your neck right here. Um, if it's like straight on the bone, it's gonna hurt. So just like wiggle it around a little bit, right? So from here, what you want to try first is to get into this position and then just put all of the weight on that front leg and bring that back leg up like this. And then back, okay? So try this a couple times and see how you want to engage your muscles. So you really want to squeeze your elbows together, really contract your torso right here, really bringing those abs in, okay? So try this a couple times and you can add more momentum as you go. Beautiful. If you've tried this, you can try to straighten out that leg that's going to kick. It's just going to look a bit more beautiful. Nice. Are you already able to bring those tippy toes off the floor? If you can, amazing. We can go further. If you cannot, just try this a couple more times every side. I need to clear my mind, need to clear my mind I wanna be empty, be empty Be empty A sparkle light of fire, I'm high, I'm a butterfly A blooming flower by, I am thirsty A job From here, there's not that much more technique that can be done. It's all about, you know, trusting yourself now and actually being able to flip. So 
So what helps to flip is to actually lead with your head. So instead of you know being here and trying to flip and your head is still being here, you really want to lead the movement by letting yourself actually look back. So try this out. All right, so what happens now is basically that you are bringing that first leg, that inside leg over. And for me, it hits a little bit on my arm, which means that then I can flip around. So you can try and illustrate on the floor what happens next. Like if you want to lay down, same side, so that you know what's happening. <laughs> and from here, you know, you bring your inside leg up, it's gonna kick, it's gonna hit over. So now it's very important that you have your elbows together, otherwise, you know, you're just hitting yourself and it's not gonna look pretty and it's not going to work. So really bringing your elbows together here, you kick up, you're engaging your core, so you can already feel this. Instead of, you know, straddling both legs open, you now want to bring both legs to the other side. So you're hopping, straightening it out, the other leg comes and meets, <laughs> and basically you're landing, okay? This is really hard to do this like this on the floor, but you're basically landing. <laughs> So try to wrap your head around this a couple of times. We can do this on either side so that you know how it's working. And then we can try the full thing, right? Don't worry if it doesn't look pretty. There's not that much that can happen. But if you're still worried, simply use mats, right? The full thing, outside leg comes towards the front, cup grip, elbows together, remember. And then you want to bring quite a bit of momentum into that leg that wants to kick up so that you don't have to pull it all out of your core, right? So, and if you're ready, just kick up, right? So you're already standing like that. So you already have like halfway done, right? So it's actually not that crazy. Just try it out and you will notice that, oh my God, <laughs> it wasn't that much big of a deal or I come closer than I actually did. All right, three, Two, one. Nice. So what's happening is that you're actually rolling over your shoulder. So yes, it can pinch a little bit, it can hurt a little bit, but it shouldn't be too crazy. The faster you do it, the easier it will be as well. The less painful it will be as well, right? Because they're just, there's a, like a lesser amount of time, there's pressure on your shoulder. Simply try it again. It's completely okay if it looks really messy at the start. That's how we learn. Nothing to be afraid of. Nice. And obviously, to bring this into a combo or a choreography, the easiest move would be to just, you know, start in sitting. Of course, you want to see that you're aligned perfectly <laughs> and then the music starts you can do some hair flicks you know whatever fits with your music and then all of a sudden you can just like get up flick it over and then go into all of the crazy spins and whatever you want to do <laughs> right but obviously this can also be like a really great transition between all of the flow work stuff you want to be doing and creating and all of a sudden you end up here, right? And then up. And you're standing and then from here, obviously you can do whatever you want to do as well, right? So use your creativity here and I would love to see how you bring this into a combo. All right, that was it already. Make sure to tag me on Instagram or on YouTube or wherever if you put this into your choreography. I would love to see it. And you know the drill. If there's something you want or need or wish for, just put it down in the comments below and I'll make it happen. I'll see you very soon. And until then, have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>
see.